Still very much a big story. Aid workers are rushing to bring food, water, and medicine to southwestern Haiti nearly a week after Hurricane Matthew devastated this very impoverished country. There are reports the death toll in Haiti has now surpassed 1,000 people, and that number could still rise. Tens of thousands have lost homes, and there's still no electricity. Many remote communities are still completely cut off because roads and bridges have collapsed. Officials say there's already a jump in cholera cases after major flooding in that country. And here in the U.S., the Carolinas are still feeling the after effects of the hurricane. Dramatic video shows the moments when a young child was rescued from a sinking car. Forecasters warn the flooding in North Carolina could still get worse as rivers continue to rise. At least 21 people have died in the U.S. because of the storm, many of them swept away in floodwaters. Rob Schmidt is live in Savannah, Georgia, where things are looking a little better. Cleanup, I guess, is underway, huh, Rob? Yeah, John, looking a little better. They're finally letting people back into Savannah so people can go home, survey the damage. Uh, what they're going to find is situations like this all around, especially on the eastern side of Savannah. Massive trees, these water oaks, a lot of them have fallen down right onto power lines. There are one million people in North Carolina and South Carolina without power right now. And a power company told a guy in this neighborhood it could be a couple of weeks until the power gets back on. Fortunately, as you can see, the weather in Georgia this time of year is beautiful. That will help a little bit. As you said before, John, the death toll continues to rise in this. It is now up to 21. Uh, it has just risen this morning with one person confirmed dead in Virginia from the storm. Here in Savannah, two deaths. A family man who stayed back to watch the house. A sad story, sleeping in bed, crushed by a massive pine tree that was pushed over by those Category 2 hurricane force winds. And another killed by flying debris. This man went outside of his house during the storm to fix an unlatched door. He was hit by a piece of debris. Uh, such a sad story in both of these cases. New numbers, though, this morning say there have been 10 killed in North Carolina. Flooding did by far the most damage there. 1,500 people still stranded by flood waters in one badly hit area of North Carolina. 1,500 people. Those rescues continue today. This is video of a Coast Guard rescue of a man from his rooftop in North Carolina. At least 10 others killed in South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida combined. We actually tried yesterday to head to Hilton Head, South Carolina, uh, the area where uh, they, they took the eye of the storm when it came ashore. Nobody allowed back onto Hilton Head. People lined up on the highway waiting. One man actually rode the storm out at home, and then on Saturday, after it had cleared up, he made a crucial mistake of trying to run up the street. We actually left to get some, uh, we went to the store to get some water and gas uh, about uh, maybe 2 or 3 o'clock yesterday. And uh, we came back up, you know, to get back in. They told us we couldn't get in. So uh, they told us to go to 462 in Ridgeland. Yeah. We went all the way to 462, got there. It was blocked up there, too. Well, we talked to him on Sunday, John, and uh, that was the day after he'd been waiting 24 hours. He might still be there. Hilton Head Island still closed. Back to you. And the frustrations are just going to keep building from here. Rob Schmidt. Thank you, Rob.